Have you ever thought of, hey, can I resurface a head at home? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go and do that with just a few items that you can pick up that won't break the bank and that anybody can do. Stay tuned and see how the process is at resurfacing a cylinder head at home. I know you guys seen head gaskets being redone and everything like that and replaced. And if you haven't, there's millions of videos out there on how to do them. So I'm not even gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you how to do this trick where you can resurface a cylinder head at home. And all you need is a piece of glass, not plexiglass, and if you do, it's gotta be somewhat thick and not flexible. The, the trick is, is a piece of glass from like a coffee table or anything like that, an abrasive sheet roll, 3M brand. 3M is the best because the grit does not fall off of it. For me, in my case, it's a big old roll of sandpaper, but it's got a sticky back to it. And that's the best thing to have. You'll be able to put that on top of the glass, then move the head on the actual glass with this on it, and then get a water hose, oil, a rag, a WD-40 is actually the best. WD-40 or anything like similar like that to resurface the head. So I'm wanting to go ahead and get it started this morning before the sun gets up, before it gets real hot and the sun's beaming at this table right here. Right, the cylinder head's off now. I have to take the man exhaust manifold off because I'm not gonna be able to slide this head around with this thing still stuck on it. So I gotta get that off and I'm gonna hope that none of the exhaust bolts are gonna break off. I got the exhaust manifold off now and now I'm gonna clean off some of this stuff right here. Whatever is excess on here with the razor blade and this thing. It actually takes off all this stuff pretty quick. That way I don't have a buildup on the sandpaper when I start to go sand it. And right there it looks like where it started burning through on both sides of the cylinders. So I've used this in the past, that's why it's a little dirty right now, but I just pulled it out from the back. This is a pretty thick piece of glass here, and it's straight. The only thing was, I guess it got chipped at the end, but that's not the point here. What it is is, the point is, is that it's straight. I even have it placed inside of a piece of, two pieces of two by four here. So that way it's not wanting to slide around this table. And then I'm gonna take all, um, these are old pieces here. I guess these are 80 grit. What I'll do is I'll just take this off. But like I said, this is 3M stuff also. Some good stuff. The, the grittiness on the paper does not fall off. So like some of that cheap stuff out there, it actually stays a lot longer and lasts a lot longer than this other stuff. That's what you need because you don't need a buildup of sand underneath making it uneven on the uh, the wear pattern whenever you go to resurface the head there all right so i got it all cleaned up here now and i did find myself some of the 80 grit that i had in the cabinet there i did make sure everything was off of this thing i had to make sure it's 100 percent clean because if anything is underneath it it will show up when you go to resurface so make sure it's clean So the trick to a good job here on resurfacing it and not getting a huge build, pile of buildup here from all the stuff being left behind. Well, I use PB Blaster, but you can use WD-40 too. I just, this is what I had on hand. And a water hose. I like this one and it's not too bad. It has a little bit of pressure. This is the best way to get rid of all the sediment that sits in between here and everything like that. And what I'll do is I'll spray the water hose this way and not go this way so that way all the water doesn't go and lift up all the sandpaper here and flush it that way get my oil here and i'll just spray the entire head down with it it helps to cut it all and get it out of the way whenever you go to to moving this thing by hand on here just remember that some of it could be a little wider especially the mating surface on the ends here near the timing timing chain guy what i do is i won't just go forward and back So, but I will also go a little bit of a diagonal to hit those ends right there that might be hanging over. Yeah, I could put a little bit more sandpaper down, but it's not a whole lot there. It might be a half an inch that's not getting sanded at all, 100% of the time. And also it helps if you will spray down all of it. I'll 
wipe it down to see where it's kind of not hitting. Here's got a little area, definitely in here. Still gotta go for it, but I just rinsed off the sandpaper by going this way and I didn't have a whole lot of pressure on it. It's already starting to build up a decent amount of sediment over here. So to help too, I have to... I have to blow this thing dry to get the water off also to help with uh, cutting it. And I'll just spray it again. And I'll start the shoveling. This is the second pass. The edges are actually getting really clean. The center is really where the problem is. It's right here, it's still not hitting. This right here is not hitting, and this. A little bit of right there, a little bit right there. But you can see it's a little bit more shinier and more consistent on the shaving. I've got a decent way to go here. We're getting there. This is almost completely there. We've got areas like right here. It's a little bit there. Mainly right here, a little here. Almost gone right here. And this spot still is there also. I think this might be the fourth pass that I've done. All right, here's three more passes later. And now I'm just down to a tiny bit there still, tiny bit. So I got the head and everything put back together and it's running good. It's running great actually. Uh, pretty smooth, no knocks, no nothing like that. It's holding, it's cooling and everything. Not blowing smoke or anything like that out the tailpipe either. So this should be a win. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.